starting with the foot position, the lead foot. If you get your foot outside the lead foot of the southpaw, you can line up your power shot, which is the right hand. It's like almost an autocorrect with his balance. There's that left hook again. You see how quickly he can viper strike it at a moment's notice. He's saying, I know you got punching power, but you gotta, you gotta catch me. The hope for Des Marina is, is to get this fight going a little bit where he can warm up. Maybe he can land some shots and start to get his range. Des Marina has given up a lot of energy just from the presence of Inouye. Just the, the fact that Inouye is in range to land is, is unnerving Des Marina. And he's looking, trying to lure Inouye into that shot. Trying to get him comfortable, moving, chasing him, make a mistake, and then boom. Lands the left hook as Des Marinas came in and crossed that threshold. Lands the left hook as Des Marinas came in and crossed that threshold. The undefeated champion, the three division world champion, who's really a fighter's fighter. It's interesting to see who came out to see him tonight among the celebs and the boxing stars ringside. Push straight left from Des Marinas. Yeah, but Des Marinas is going to have to be in that range and still get his if he's got any shot of landing anything significant. There's no doubt. In a way, in a way, had a spectacular—I mean, utterly spectacular—knockout in his last fight. Good defense from Des Marinas along the ropes. Nice it's shot, right hand. So you can already tell from the body language of Des Marinas, he's moving a lot. He doesn't want to get touched by those big shots. But offensively, he's starting to settle down and land some shots. There it is. But then a shot like that will land. Left hook to the body. Knocked down, scored by the monster. Liver. Left hook to the liver. Liver shot. Puts down Des Marinas. Seven. Eight. Good. Give me your gloves. 50 seconds to work here in round two for Inouye. Stalking his prey. Oh, big left hand dug in underneath. In a way, stalking. Goes to the body, left uppercut comes in as well. That's what you do when you hurt a person to the body. Oh, another body right shot. Right back down there. Des Marinas is still hurt. There's no doubt about it. Trying to survive the follows. Another body shot comes in. Look at In a way. Round number three. 20 fights for In a way have only lasted a total of 114 rounds. Ooh. The velocity, I know it looked like it was grazing, but the speed oh, is Oh, down. he digs in again! But this right here is when it when it starts to become unfair for opponents of Inouye when, yes, he's offensively powerful, but then defensively he's stingy and he doesn't let you get anything with his cat quick quickness. Now Desmarada is trying to get right into that kitchen, fires off a combination. Tried to get it right there, but it grazed the body of Desmarinas. Destructive work from the monster. Uppercut, body shot again! My oh my! Three body shot knockdowns and a knockout victory! Two virtuosos in the ring present Poetry of Violence. Round 13. Bernardo Osuna alongside Hall of Famer Andre Ward and it's Donaire coming out fast with the left hook. Be the first attempt by Donaire to land that right hand which hurt in a way on several occasions in the first fight and sometimes gets overlooked because of his beautiful left hook. The Japanese crowd getting into it here, Dre. Yes, they good shot right there. One punch at any moment, you won't want to blink because they both have dynamite in their punches. Which is impressive because the fighters are still warming up. I left hook there from... He's hurt right now, Bernardo. 
The bell was his greatest ally. Now it's Bonaire landing that vaunted left hook. See that right hand from Naoya Inoue. And Donaire needs to get himself together before he tries to load up, but that's not in his nature. He wants to draw in a way in, even though he's hurt, to try to land his own big shots. You see another vicious left hook from the monster, Naoya Inoue. Body shot from the monster. Inoue. Body shot from the monster. Looks like Donaire has made up his mind. He's going to fight fire with fire, and that's just the way it is. For better Impressive knockout victory for the monster. Wow. Not all yeah, either way. Nice counter right there. Maloney was trying to get out of the way and throw a right hand all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot to process in just one millisecond. Mm. There's that left hook from Naoya in way here to close out the second round. Oh, nice effort. Hey! For 12 rounds tonight, they really do want to hurt each other. And Maloney here keeping nice up jam. with Inoue in terms of punches thrown. But nice uppercut there with the right hand from Inoue. But Maloney takes it well. There it is. Once again, the attack. Right hand, left hand. See, that, that first step of Inoue is a lot for Maloney to process right now. He's thinking, trying to figure out what his next move is. Had that power going from the okay, bottom up. Work out. Oh, beautiful double uppercut from Naoya Inoue. Nice right there from Jason Maloney on the inside. Using his strength and he gets clipped by a left hook. Is making Maloney forget his game plan. He forgot what he came here to do. Oh, left uppercut from Naoya Inoue. Switches up and now you see the legs of Maloney a little wobbly as he continues with the attack. Person, how explosive every shot is, how the speed on his punches, and the power to go along with it, and the pressure he's putting on Maloney right now. Maloney is a good fighter. He's a good quality fighter. And he's making him look ordinary. Oh, nice counter to the body from Naoya. And down goes that right elbow of Maloney. Nice stick jab from Maloney, though. That's a hard thing to do when you got a guy who's sticking you with power. He's been, it, see, he's being out muscled. I mean, that power and that speed. Mid-range, inside, it doesn't matter. He's controlling this fight. He's leading, he's countering, he's outspeeding, outquicking, and, and ha he has more power than Maloney. How are you going to deal with that if you don't open up and try to get some respect? You know, he gets a little enamored with this punching power. He just wants to admire his work at times, and Maloney is finding home for his right hand occasionally. There you see the finishing shots from Naoya Inoue as round four comes to a conclusion. Well, it's special. You know, there's no perfect fighter. There's always going to be mistakes the fighter makes, but the question is, can the opponent do anything about it? Or if they're going to have the courage to try to risk At the start of his prime right now at 27 years old. Ooh. That quickness of Naoya Inoue, who's 19-0 with 16 knockouts. But here comes Jason Maloney, who said, if I can get him backing up. Inside the trenches, he, but he needs to be careful because Inoue would set him up with a counter. He'll look to punch in between his shots. Inoue has got the power advantage, the quickness advantage, and a two and a half inch reach advantage, which we saw just moments ago as his jab got to its destination. Wow. Yeah, thank Devastation. You. Thank you, thank you. But sometimes oh, it's, oh, big right hand there from Inoue, and Maloney takes it, and he takes two steps back. If I could, if you could hear the thoughts that oh shot right there. down goes Maloney on a quick counter. Four, five, six. Inoue's a good finisher seven, too. Hey, okay, okay, come to me. Gloves. Sixteen gloves. knockouts and nineteen victories for Naoya Inoue. He comes out firing with that big left hook. And he smells blood. He may be the monster, but tonight he's a shark going after his prey. Supreme focus from Naoya Inoue. 
As Maloney gets caught with another left hook as he leaves his jab out there. Cleanly yet, except for that big shot early in the round. And he lands cleanly there with that right. In a way, it's defeat. When a fighter can close the distance on you in a half a second and he's all he's up on you quicker than you could even imagine, that's unnerving for a fighter. It's tough to deal with. There's that stick from Naoya anyway. As round seven. Oh, oh, a big right hand from Naoya Inouye. Maloney is down and hurt. Five, six, seven, eight. It's over. There's a right hand to the body from Inouye. He's still comfortable right now, still protecting himself. He fears that power of Inouye and his own body shot on Inouye. And Butler comes back with a right hand up top before going with the high guard again. In a way, taking those small steps just to corral Butler, always keeping him in range. There's a right hand and a left hand to the body that backed it up. Always setting the table, creating the opportunity for offense. Now you see the head movement, something he has taken great pride in. Remember, he took that mini camp trip to the wild card gym. In just front not of him. enough offense, Timmy, to keep in a way off of him. That's right. Hand that comes in. And two left to the body. For those type of situations. Opens up this third round with a combination. As Pablo's in that corner and desperately needs to get out. He has that left hand up. Two punch combination again. Working behind that jab. The uppercut, right uppercut, left hook behind. Now explain to people when you say that, you call it a teeter-totter, and Butler finally lets his hands go as in a way covers up for a moment. Best work that Butler's had comes here in round number three. But what you describe as that teeter-totter, the ability to throw punches and generate torque, bringing back the offhand to create more power. No, the teeter-totter combination is, is the right uppercut. So it goes up, so the <laughs> that side is up, and then he comes down, the opposite side is down and it's around the elbow to the liver. Needs to make an adjustment. He needs to fight, sell out now. As is the case with Gallagher. Speaking of his charge, Paul Butler, 34 win WBO champion. And we closing the gap into that corner again. Left hook comes in. In a way, comes around the door with a right hand. Right through the glove. That's, that's the first contact. Tess, you do from a power puncher like Inouye, when you're getting hit with those type of punches, Inouye, Inouye is standing just outside that mid range. He's he's hoping. Closes range with the jab, gets the inside left hand, came to the body, finished with a left hook upstairs. Right hand comes behind the jab. Left uppercut, right uppercut. There's that left hand to the body. It's been so effective tonight. World champion. And with that, and Timmy, we noted we're so used to in recent years seeing in a way with the right. He does for a moment. And in a way would invite that. Taking more chances, trying to get him to open up so he can land that kill shot. And engage. It's too easy, Tess. Far too easy. Too easy. Good combination right there from and Butler. Ali shuffled. <laughs> Beautiful left hook down to the body. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I need to see more from Butler right there. A combination from Butler. You can hear the encouragement from the corner of Paul Butler. As he's sent back with another right hand that hits that high guard. The way I hear you talk and what I see out of Butler, you get the sense that to him the victory was getting the contract signed. That's it. That's it. You, you got to understand that. Nice, good, good, Paul. But Gallagher himself has to understand you're headed to a shutout loss no matter. Yes. Now in a way with a combination to open up this 11th round. 
Changing up the cadence, baby. Speed coming down the middle, but now he needs to bring it downstairs after he get those hands high and raised. Right hand to the body is a good one. And a big right hand that comes in. 3-1 from Inouye. Big combination scores the knockdown here in round 11. That power of Inouye comes through, and he gets it done at 11. Dismisses an unengaged Paul Butler by hitting the accelerator and putting out a show.